Hey everyone, this is Kelly and I'd like to welcome you back to the Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel. Today we are sharing a video hop and we're starting right here at the Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel and then make sure you check out the description box below because that's going to tell you where to hop to next. There's lots of inspiration from our design team members and we'd love it if you'd leave a comment below because that's how we're going to choose the video hop winners. All the information can be found in that description box below. So for the card I'm doing today, I'm going to do a twofer and I'm going to use the brand new Rainbow Dreams stamp set. So in my product introduction video for this release, I made a card using the dies that go with this collection. And today's video is mainly going to be using the stamps. And so there's a couple of ways you could do this. You could put two pieces of cardstock into your Misty, you can see those there and then stamp crossing over both pieces of cardstock. And I'm gonna kind of pull my uh, arch or the arch that I wanna use first off of this stamp backer here, and then I'm going to lay it out onto the cardstock. And then, so this is one way. This would be a great way if you just wanted to do a one layer card and just stamp directly onto either your card base or to a card panel, you could do it that way. I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to use this rainbow die and this is what creates the A2 rainbow card base and that's the die or one of the dies that I used in that product introduction video. I'm just going to trim off the top because I don't need the back side of the card. I just want the front part with the uh, rainbow and you can see the embossed lines there. I'm just trimming that off and trying to make it nice and smooth. And then I'm going to place this whole rainbow into my Misty. I have just an inexpensive um, uh, sticky mat that you use in like your Cricut or your Silhouette and that just helps stick my die cuts into my Misty. Just adds a little extra help. I'm going to close the door and pick up that first uh, arch for the rainbow. And I'm going to do a little bit of traditional colors, not just totally Roy G. Biv, but I'm doing like a <clears throat> really dark pink. And then I'm going to go in and stamp that several times. These inks just happen to be from the stamp market, but you can use your Distress Oxides or whatever you would like to use. And then I'm just going to continue on down the rows here. And you can see all the different arches there on the left um, collected there on that stamp back backer. And I'm just kind of getting my head over the top of that stamp and over the top of that die cut to make sure that I have it in the area that I want it to stamp. For this next color, I'm going in with a melon. So it's not really a traditional yellow or a red. But I'm going to go in and stamp that a couple of times and to really press that color. And so I get a really nice, even stamped image. I'm using my Be Creative pressure tool, and that's going to add just enough pressure to the lid of the Misty. So I get a really nice stamped image. And I just like to stamp it several times because it makes the, the colors of that ink really nice and vibrant and bright. Okay, so I'm moving on to the next arch here, and this is the hearts. So first we have little messy speckles, and then we have like a little curly cue that's in the melon color, and then this arch is in kind of a yellowy citron green color. So I'm going to stamp those a few times to make sure that those hearts are really nice and vibrant, and I have really good coverage there using my Be Creative pressure tool. I'm going to clean that off and clean off the lid of my Misty, and then I'm ready just to move right down the row, and I just choose the next size that I need to stamp. I'm going to set that up, and those embossed lines in that die cut really help to be able to line up the little arches of your rainbow. You can see those there pressed in the paper, so you just need to make sure that you're pretty close there in lining up your stamp with the open area there that is embossed into the paper. So the next color I stamped with those little dashed lines is a turquoise, and then I'm going to move on to a purple color. 
So I'm going to get those all set up in there. And again, I'm just using those embossed lines to set up that arch and get it shifted around before I close the door of my Misty. And then I stamp that in a really pretty purple. And now I'm ready to move on with this die cut. Now, I could have left it just absolutely plain white, just like that on the in-between, but I decided to use one of the dies that cuts out the really slim arches, kind of the in-between areas of those stamped images, and I'm going to cut that out of silver glitter paper. Why not add a little bit of sparkle to my rainbow, right? So I've got that die. I'm using my silver glitter paper. We have a really nice tonic silver glitter available at honeybeestamps.com that cuts like a dream. So I'm just pulling out all these little arches and laying those out. And then I'm gonna use some adhesive to adhere that right into the open areas of my rainbow. So I decided to try this Barely Art Glue, and I love the tip on this, especially because these rainbow pieces are pretty narrow and pretty fine. So it lays down just a fine bead of adhesive, and then I can kind of work my glitter paper right into uh, the area. And again, those areas are embossed as well. So it's super easy to see where you want to add your cardstock or whatever you want to add in there. But again, that really fine tip of that glue packaging really helps to be able to get your glue into teeny tiny little areas like this. To continue this card, I have foiled with our rainbow foil plates the rainbow scripty word, the clouds, I love those beautiful silver clouds, and then some hearts. Now I did the rainbow word in the clouds in a matte silver, and then the hearts are in this really glimmery, shimmery kind of rainbow speckled silver. It's really pretty with the stamped uh, images and the colors that I chose on the card. And so I'm taping down my dies, and I learned something kind of caused a boo-boo here, is don't use this type of tape on your foiled images. So I kind of learned the hard way here. I'm going to go ahead with the card and just make it work out, but that's just kind of my tip for today is don't tape over those foiled images because the tape is as light and as delicate as that tape is, it will remove some of the foil. So <clears throat> I just learned that the hard way in creating these cards. On the second set that I had to die cut, I was much more careful on where I lined up the tape and just made sure not to, to get that on top of the foiling parts. Okay, now I'm going to use this my trimmer and I'm going to cut my rainbow in half. So I mentioned at the beginning of the video that this card is a twofer. So I'm going to slice the rainbow in half. And so I did all the stamping and all those little die cuts, but I'm getting two cards out of the work. So I'm just kind of eyeballing the center here, and then I'm going to line those up on the edges of my cardstock. So I've chosen some turquoise cardstock that really uh, looks bright and fun, especially with that turquoise color that's there at the bottom of the rainbow. And then I can kind of set up the die cuts. So the clouds, I'm kind of getting the lay of the land here on where I want to adhere everything. You can see I'm kind of rubbing down, trying to remove a little bit of that adhesive. It's not bad, but it's not as shimmery as I would have liked it to be. And then my rainbow word, which is so pretty and shimmery. And then these kind of rainbow iridescent sparkly hearts just are kind of the icing on the cake here. So I'm kind of getting a and looking at how I want to adhere everything down. And then I'm gonna choose a couple of sub sentiments to go with my cards. Now I could choose the same one or I can make two different cards, but I'm going to use the coordinating die with the rainbow wishes and birth, or rainbow kisses and birthday wishes sentiment to see if that will fit in that area nicely. A lot of times I like to do that with my dies or just pull the stamp out and try it on there because that's going to give you an, a good idea on whether that that will fit into the space that you have. I'm just going to stamp those uh, sentiments in uh, VersaFine Onyx Black ink. 
it stays wet just a tad longer. I can dip that into clear embossing powder and then heat set that. And what it does is it traps that black ink so I don't smear it and make a boo-boo, but it also makes that really nice and shiny and it puffs up a little bit. And so it's just a little extra touch there for the front of my card and with that sentiment. Now I'm just gonna use white uh, card bases here, top folding, and so I'm using my little score buddy to score my cardstock at five and a half. I'm going to fold it and then I'm, I'm going to use the bone folder to really squeeze that uh, embossed line down or that scored line down so my card lays nice and flat. Now once I have that done, I'm really ready to start adhering everything. I've got everything stamped and everything die cut, and so everything's ready to go. I'm going to use a tape runner and adhere my first little color of turquoise cardstock, and I did trim that down to four by five and a quarter, just so you could have the really nice white border around the edges. I like to have layers and I like to have a nice border around the edge, so I do that often. Now, I can adhere my rainbows and I'm just gonna kinda line them up and eyeball that here. And they don't need to be exactly the same, but I think it's kinda fun to put them both together like that and see how you can kinda make two cards out of one. And then I'm going to adhere my silver clouds and I'm gonna use a little bit of foam tape on these. So one, I used foam dots on the larger one, and then on the smaller, more narrow cloud, I'm just going to use one of the narrow foam strips and adhere that offset there to the bottom of that other cloud. So once I get all four of those clouds kind of popped up there on the bottom of the rainbow, I'm ready to move on and adhere the sentiments. But first, I need to use the coordinating dies. I love the coordinating dies for these little sub sentiments because it makes it so easy just to add those kind of last minute onto the front of your card and anywhere you want to. I'm going to kind of fit it in there with a rainbow and then that rainbow foiled word. So I'm using my coordinating dies and then again that highlighter tape. And I'm going to use my little Honeybee Stamps Bitty Buzz Cutter. I just absolutely love that thing, especially for small images and sentiments just like this. So I'm not having to run over to the other side of my craft room for my big Gemini or anything like that. I just keep that little Bitty Buzz Cutter right at the edge of my desk. And then it's easy to move over and use anytime I need it. And it's, it folds up so small and just goes right back over on the side of my desk. Now I use just some liquid adhesive to adhere both of the little sub sentiments and I popped up the foiled rainbow word so we'd have a little dimension with that. I'm gonna pop up one of the hearts here and add that with one of our Be Creative foam dots. You can see there at the top left hand corner of the screen, I love those little foam dots because they have tabs on them. So if you have issues removing the backers from your foam dots, you might give those a try. Now here is a look at the finished card and you can see all that glimmer and shimmer and that fun kind of rainbow sparkly foil that I used on the hearts. And I love that I got two for one here. So one says rainbow kisses and birthday wishes and the other says rainbow, you brighten my day. Thanks for joining me today for this video hop. Make sure you check out all of our awesome design team videos and don't forget to leave a comment at the bottom for your chance to win one of our video hop prizes. Thanks for joining me and bye bye.